and we are back. Welcome back to the stream, ladies and gents. Uh, can I get that closed real quick? And we are going to be back with some City Skylines 2. Actually, I haven't been on City Skylines 2 for streams in a few months now, actually. Uh, I think last time I streamed City Skylines was... Was it back in July? Either it was June or July that I last streamed City Skylines, and yeah, we're definitely making a, a return to it. As for what we're going to do in City Skylines 2, I was thinking we're going to, we're not going to be able to revisit, unfortunately, our old save file, because our old save file occurred before the economy patch had dropped, I think it was back in June. So... In that regard, it's not going to be safe for us to return back to that save as... Well, I say safe as in it's going to break the computer. No, it's not. Uh, I say safe as in, like, it's going to ruin our gameplay. And that's the sucky part. Um, so, we're going to be starting a new city, unfortunately. And for that said new city, I am going to be doing it with no mods no nothing um as for which map that's a good question because i'm not 100 percent certain i'm thinking we might go with the river delta because that seems like it's the most balanced or one of the most balanced maps that they have granted it's not the most balanced map but it does have a good number of the balancing already um If we didn't want to go with that, I kind of want to make sure that I can go with a map that does have some type of snowfall. Because one of the achievements that I want to try and get during this stream is experience uh, experience snowfall on a map. Which I think is the um, all, four, uh, all Four Seasons, I think it is. Not 100%. I don't remember 100%, but I think it is. So I think what we'll do instead is we'll go with the Mountain Village. Yeah. Mountain Village isn't necessarily the best map, but it is one we can start with. Um, I don't have to actually the stream over. Let me go and switch over to it real quick. I should already have it captured. Perfect. Uh, we're going to go with the Mountain Village. Um, we are going to call this Leonstein. Or Leostropolis. I'll just call it Leo and Stein. Uh, we'll keep the European theming. Uh, we'll keep left hand traffic off. Natural disasters on. These unlock ones, we'll keep those off. Uh, tutorials, those will be disabled as we don't need the tutorials. But let's go ahead and get us going. I think that this map does have it. Yeah, it drops below 33 degrees, so it should have it if I'm not mistaken. So let's go and get started in this game. Now, as for how I want to do this playthrough on this map, since this map is actually fairly open, it doesn't have much in terms of build space. It does have a decent amount of area that we can definitely go ahead and take, uh, take part in. The only downside with this map is that the only like water connections that we have here are the limitating factor when it comes to that. Like I think that these dead end here. So this river right here that goes off in this direction and once again goes off in this direction, unfortunately is the only water access we have, I think. So if I take a look here, no, actually it might not be. I don't think we have any water access on this map. Ooh, ooh, brother, no. No, I don't like that. Um, either way, I'm gonna stick with my bearings and actually go with this. So, uh, let's see here. We got one million to go and start us off with. We got a train connection right away, which we can take advantage of after we unlock our, uh, some of our first development permits. And I think, let's see here, 
I think we can kind of stick with having... Uh, well, actually, first off, let me check the wind patterns real quick. Or do we have access to that? I don't think we do. Okay. Well, we do if we go and hover over this. So, not great. Um, so, if we were to put our industrial over here next to the rail line, that would be fine. Actually, uh, in fact, that would be perfectly fine because we can have it be against the rail line and have it go towards the mountainside, which isn't a bad thing. Now, as for natural resources, we got some natural resource over here for some um, agriculture. Forestry, we got plenty of. Stone mining, we got some over here, but we don't got a lot on this map. We got some across the mountainside over here, some down here, a little bit over here, okay? And we can't get coal mining, oil drilling, or anything like that, but that's fine for the moment. As for our water areas, now, our water is going downstream like that. That's not bad, actually. So I'm thinking that what we'll do is we'll do a... Do we want to do a pumping station instead of a water tower or a pumping station? You know, that could be useful, but either way, we do need a sewage outlet. I think what we'll do is we'll put the sewage outlet down here, kind of like right at the very tip. It's not the best spot for it, but we'll most likely have to move that later on, possibly down the stream a little bit um, when we unlock those uh, tiles. As for the pumping station or water tower, what do we want to go with? I kind of want to go with the water tower first. Just so that way we can kind of develop around it, kind of have it be like a sort of a feature of the city. Kind of like when you're first coming into the city, that's the very first thing that you see. So that actually could be a good thing for us. So let's go and bring this four lane road down a little bit. What's up? Uh, hey, Crimson. Welcome on into the stream. Epic beard now? Yes, yes, the beard has definitely been growing. Yeah, I, I've. It's been a while, Crimson. How have you been, man? I, I've been actually doing pretty good. It's been. It's been pretty chill over here for me. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and bring you around. I think having that is fine. This roundabout right here, I think we'll have to get upgraded later on just because it gets so much, it will most likely get a lot of traffic, especially since it's gonna be our only way into the city for a little while. That is until we unlock the highway. Uh, three weeks post-ops, final surgery number two. Oh my, Ugh. I feel for you, man. Final surgery is not pleasant. Okay, uh, let's see here. I kind of want to, let's go ahead and organize this, uh, these rows a little bit. I kind of want to maximize my space as much as possible. Now, as far as where our midpoint is gonna be, uh, let's see here, 350, so our midpoint should be at about 175. So right about there. And we can just bring you straight along. Okay. I think over here is where we'll have some, uh, maybe not industrial, because I want to keep this area clear of in any sort of buildings because this is where some fertile land is. And then uh, I think what we'll do is we'll expand over into this area, have some industrial growing up over here. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and, oh boy. Um, what do we want to do after that? We'll go ahead and put our residential down here along the riverside. That's actually fine. That's actually a really good idea. In fact, I'm going to start with the residential being down here instead. Um, so let's actually go and do this. Wait, can I actually draw this bridge underneath? I think I can. Yes, I can. Okay. Because you're low enough below it to 
not conflict. I think that it's like SimCity on steroids. Uh, I wouldn't call it. Uh, I wouldn't compare it to SimCity. Granted, SimCity does have its highlights, but City Skylines 2 is. It's if you're familiar with City Skylines 1, it's of course the sequel to that, but. City Skylines 2 did have a rocky start last year when it got released, uh, mostly because there was a lot of people that were expressing performance issues um, and, and just general stuff that was not really liked well with the community. So there was that. Um, 394. 394, that's going to be like 2... 246? Oh, 247. Uh, okay, I don't think that's going to really balance well too much. Well, no, it's a, oh, no, 197 then. No, okay. So, it looks like we might actually be closer. Okay. Mm, I could actually put you along with this, which actually makes a little bit better sense. Because eventually I could just expand, uh, redevelop this area into a like housing complex. Which, now that I say that out loud, having a housing complex be a area where post-industrial complex was not necessarily the most sound idea that I've ever had, but not the worst either. Uh, let's go ahead and bring you along to here. Okay. 180. Uh, let's go ahead and bring you down there. And we'll bring this kind of across. That way we can bring this down here. Just have that little bit of connection. I think what we'll do is we'll have some coastal housing along this side. And then we'll go ahead and develop this to be some regular residential. Which let's go and get the, the coastal housing here. Uh, let's go ahead and have that be along that side, along here, and just generally along here. And I think what I'll do is I'll put the water pumping station be like down here, kind of like close by to the residential. Uh, how far along can I put you without you conflicting with anything? I could, I could put you right there. Uh, you know what, that's actually not too bad. Put you right there. Actually a really good spot for it. Because as soon as these houses start to build up, which will run the game to let them do that, I think that actually could make a good either focal point or just like a, a landmark for us um, as to where we started the city at. Anyway, let's go ahead and get the rest of the, uh, rest of the zones in here. We need some commercial zoning. So I think what we'll do is we'll put some commercial zoning over here. And I think what we'll do is we'll have a bit of commercial built along this main road. Not a lot, but I think that's a good start. And then what we'll do is put, we'll put some industrial over here. Uh, six feet, yeah. There's that, and while we are waiting for that all to build, I think we can get some livestock farming going on down over here. Um, let's see. I kind of want to develop this as much as possible. So, we can get a dirt road, so to speak, over in this area. That be a good enough spacing for you? Maybe. I think that covers pretty much all of what you need. Uh, I could actually have that be about, about right there and instead, actually. So, move that, get rid of that street, and just redraw it a little bit away from here. Uh, let's see. Okay, that seems fine. So, we'll go and do that. Go ahead and leave that be for the moment because I gotta redraw that road a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and bring you over there. And we'll go ahead and bring you 
I guess down that uh, that way. Have it be a bit of a curve. Um, what can we bring you? We'll curve you as well. And we'll go ahead and bring you back down. Now we do need a power source here. We could get some electrical just from the main grid, but I think what we'll start off with is some wind turbines. My speeds are too low. Ooh, that's not good. So two, yeah, wind speed is not gonna be a good one for us. So let's just go and get a transformer here. Power transformer, that is. And we'll go ahead and put that there and connect you via power line over here. And we'll actually have you be an underground, uh, underground power line. Moon, also, get rid of the ads here because I don't think we want that. Back to actually put, put you on the vibe. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Going to put you like that. And then we'll just connect you right there. That seems perfectly fine. There's that, and now we need a connection to our sewage, which all we need to do is just draw this a little bit. Okay. Get that moving along. There we go. That's all we need. So long as we're able to do that, I'd say that we're in good graces right there to get us started. Uh, now we do got a bit more residential and commercial that is popping up as far as demand for that is concerned We're going to put some more commercial along the main road here And then what we'll do is we'll put some regular housing Already pretty much on the back side of where that is and I think I'll keep this open for some parks later on Just for the moment um, Either a park or a school we do want a school over in this area at some point. Yeah. Okay. Now let's go and get our uh, get our farmland sorted out here. Uh, let's go ahead and bring you straight along here. Ooh. Okay, you're not gonna well let me go ahead and get snapping turned off Ooh, trying to get rid of that hmm. do not like snapping at all okay out of the way, but we'll have you go to the foreground there, the actual corner, and we'll actually bring you, I think saved it right there actually, and I have you be connected there. It's going to be a bit big, given the fact that we don't need it to be this size, but who says that we can't have big farms? And no, not that type of farm. Okay. Uh, okay, I don't really like where you're at right there. So can I move you a little bit? Ah, uh, that's fine. Okay. Long. Let's go and follow the curvature of this for a few minutes, for a few bits here. That way you can get as much coverage for this as possible. Back to bring you along here for a bit. And while we're doing that, bring you down this way. Okay. Okay. 
did not like snap into there. Why is that? Okay, I think it's just because you had conflicting geometry right there. Okay. Uh, bring you straight along this edge right here. Uh, I think we can have you snap to about right there. Because I think it's fine. Okay. We can turn back on the uh, align or the snapping to uh, snapping the angle. Uh, let's see here. Neo, how far along is this? Okay. Uh, I could bring you along here. Yeah. Now what I'm gonna do, just so that way I can maximize my spacing here, is I'm gonna bring this road out here. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to extend the drawing of this road, get rid of the, ang uh, the angle snapping, and extend the drawing of this road to match the grid that's been created by that other uh, road. And I say dra the drawing of this road is a, it's as if this uh, farm area is a road. It's not. Um, snap into there. And let's go ahead and snap you to there instead. You still maximize the space there. Not necessarily right here, but that's fine. That's fine. We're not too concerned about that space. Or at least I'm not. Um, let's see. Bring you along there. And then what we'll do is we'll bring you down here and up to 160. 175, yeah. And we'll bring you straight along this way. Okay? Okay. Now what we need to do is adjust you slightly. Ooh, okay. That might require a bit of some finagling. Okay. That may have been easier than I thought, so let's just the angle there. Okay. Ooh, okay. Let's do that real quick. Hmm. I don't like that snapping. Uh, no, that's fine. Say it as a bad thing, but snapping can be useful at times. Uh, can snapping to road and get rid of snapping to that. Yeah, that, that's fine. That way it kind of looks as though that cul-de-sac is just coming into right here. Because I remember a town that I used to live in where some of the roads just dead end right before a farm area, which was intentional by the city planners, which I think was a good idea on their part. So let's go and do this a little bit. right there. Yeah, maybe the farmer that owns this land is like, uh, kids, stay off my my property, and there's like a whole like elementary school or something like that that's over in this area. Maybe I'll actually make that happen where that actually would make sense. Uh, okay. Um, let's see. Maximize this space as much as possible. Bit Im irregular for a shape that is, but for a farm, I'd say that's actually pretty good. It's relatively flat land, so it's actually pretty decent. 
Now as for right around here, I kind of have a little bit of an idea as to what I want in this area. Um, while we're doing this, let me go ahead and get some more land built, uh, more housing put in place over here. And I guess we can put in some more industrial over here. And just because we're going to put some commercial down here on this side. Okay. And I guess what we could do is we could put some housing over here as well. Just that way we're not restricting where our housing can go. So that's really good right there. And I love how this house just built right here, creating a perfect corner house. I like that. Um, now we just need a house to build in that spot. Perfect. Okay. Uh, let those houses build up for a minute. And then I'm going to see if I can do some working over here. I can't do much today because there was an announcement that went out for City Skylines 2 this morning that the developer said that a patch is going to be coming out tomorrow. And that patch is going to include a lot more decoration based items that you can go ahead and place in like the sort of like small like gap like areas. And I think this would be a good spot for those gaps. So I think I'll leave this space clean until 30, Thursday's stream, which is when the next City Skyline stream is going to be. So for that reason, we're going to leave this space right here in front of the farm blank. Um, so there's that. I'm going to keep the game running on one time speed for the moment. Power is still good, even though we are just like consuming some by just importing it in. It's not great, but it's at least something. Um, eventually, when we're using up more than, say, like, let's see, uh, 20 megawatts is the production level. Um, say that we get to about, like, 10 or so for our megawatts that are being consumed, then I'd say it's a good point to bring in, like, a coal power plant or possibly get something else. Might I end up getting like a gas power plant? Gas power plant is actually a lot more expensive, but it produces a lot more electricity. So maybe not that. Definitely, oh, coal power plant. Uh, you're a good idea, but you require a lot of resources as well. Plus you're really high on pollution. Geothermal is actually a good choice, but that requires groundwater access. 0 to 150 megawatts. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, solar power plants. That actually would be a good idea. Battery output would be 15 megawatts. Battery capacity is 50 megawatts per hour. Um, or 50 megawatt hours, yeah. And then electricity production is 0 to 200 megawatts. So I'm guessing that's zero at night, 200 during the day. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, plus we are currently in the middle of the summer, in the middle of June, so to speak. So this isn't too bad. It's not too bad of a start for the game. At this point, we just need to go ahead and keep developing and get more people coming in here because we just need to get to level, or our progression milestone of level one, which we're almost there. We just got to get a bit more people. We're less than 100 people in right now. Um, let's go ahead and get some more houses built over here. Perfect. Okay. I kind of like how you're already building up. I kind of want the, these same type of houses to be built up all around here. Uh, come on. Come on, game. I know you have the need for more housing, so come on. Ah, damn. Okay. No. You bozo. Stop Stop building like that. No. <laughs> uh, uh, yep. No. I want the long stretch houses. I don't want the mini houses. No, I don't want mini houses, game. 
No. No. Okay. If you're gonna be like that, I'm gonna just remove that zoning and wait for you to develop other other plants. Because you're being a, a biatch. <laughs> okay. Since these rows really just dead end into nothing, there's not really much we can do for that. Looks like this guy is just like one of those landowners that are like, Oh, I, I got a, so much land under my belt now. <laughs> uh. My goodness, are you guys serious? Okay, get rid of you, get rid of you. Am I gonna have to do the same thing with you guys? Yeah, I am. Ah, come on. Don't be a... You guys are technically doing the longhouses, but I want the longhouses going along Hamilton Street, not going along Lilac. Okay, um, that should be fine. If I allow you to build right there, no, you're not building what I want you to build. Nope. Come on. Build correctly, game. Not frickin'... Obviously, if you're not wanting to pay attention game to what I want you to do and utilize that full space rather than just like half of it. Okay, that was my alarm with one of my phones. Uh, nothing crazy right now. Okay. We are almost actually at our first milestone progression, which I think what we'll do is we'll do some extra zoning over here to kind of entice some more residential to come in. We gotta wait for more people to move in as well once when these houses get built. So that'll be something right there. Yay. And we'll get hopefully a few things going along here as soon as we get our first milestone progression. While we're waiting, coffee time. Let, for pe let people move on in game. Let's not worry about rushing in people or rushing in new houses to be developed only for them to be left empty. Come on. Okay, we get our tiny village, which is fantastic. We get 25,000 from that. We get a one development point and three expansion permits. I'm not gonna worry about expanding right now because we've only used like a, like maybe a third of the available land to us in this area. And what are you saying? Lack of labor. So the company cannot find enough employees. Like, how many people are you short of? Um, okay, so you are wanting 22 uneducated employees. And that's all you have for open position right now. Okay, that makes sense. You just want more people coming on in. And that's what we'll give you as soon as we have it. Uh, we just gotta develop those people. So... We also now have access to healthcare and garbage management. So, ooh, now what am I gonna do with garbage? With garbage, I really want to put it in like this spot over here, but then again, the, the actual pollution from that or the air pollution is gonna come right over our residential areas. So that may not be a good spot for it. Um. If I really could, I would like to have it be somewhere all the way out here in the outskirts, just so that way it makes things a little bit better. Um, although I don't know if I would really want that. I can do that if I so choose to. Hmm. Yeah, but the yeah the tile upkeep though is thirty six six two seven per month. Uh, I don't know how I feel like that. I feel about that. Um, 
could get a tile right there, and that would have used up all my permits at that point. You know what? We'll do that. We'll do that. Purchase that land. We'll have a little bit of a tile upkeep because we're going to go and have um, some land that we just got. So, also, uh, also some stuff that we just unlocked here. Also, for our development point, I kind of want to put that towards the use of advanced road services. So road maintenance facilities, traffic lights and signs, as well as roadside decorations. I think what, that's what we'll go with for our first development point. After that, we'll, pop, we'll most likely get highways, because that's what I really want to unlock next, so that way I can make proper intersections. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and build our landfill site, uh, site over here. I'm going to want to maximize my space for it, so let's go and build you, like, right there. Okay. Now, I need to make sure I maximize this to the point where I'm able to utilize all of the land available to me. Um, let's see here. I kind of want to go with, uh angle yeah 155 angles should be fine and then I could go ahead and do another one right there I'll most likely have to adjust this later on but for right now I think this is fine there just bring you up okay now you don't currently have access to a road with any sort of water or power connections but so let's go give that to you um, we'll do that by placing this road along this building here and what we'll do is we'll bring this up to a bridge across the river here and I think that's a good focal point for that. And then what we'll do is we'll bring this down. Uh, let's see, bring you down by 105 yards, that's fine. And let's go ahead and try and focal point that a little bit, 76. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So at this point, we can then go and connect you to the freeway here. As for how we're going to do that, that's a different story that I'm going to have to make up as we go. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and do this then. Because I'm going to have to get something along here. I don't like having to use these one-way... Uh, like one-way side street roads because it's not realistic by any means but if it's all we got it's kind of all we got okay now thankfully I don't need to worry about um about making sure that this is properly connected because okay not the best interchange or intersection right there but i think that will do us for now okay get rid of the sidewalk uh, side i get rid of all those we don't need that over here okay um now the difficult part that was the easy part. The difficult part is what are we going to use for power and water source? If 
I unlocked this tile right here, I could just import t uh, water and sewage over into this area, which, now that I say that out loud, actually would be a bit of an easier option. Because I do have that one permit that I can't use. In fact, I'll, I'll use that one instead. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Let's go ahead and extend our road here a little bit so that we got a bit of um, of room to grow, so to speak. Okay. And let's go ahead and get sewage connected in over here. Okay. We're importing those services, which is fine. Now let's get a transformer over here because we're going to need it. And we'll do the same thing. Ooh, we're going to need to drop you down a little bit. Okay, uh, let's go and connect you over there, and that should be fine when it comes to power. So now you are connected, and you're going to start sending out our trucks. It's fine. Uh, while we're waiting on that, I do want to actually adjust this area here. Let's see. Now, it's going to be fairly low use for the moment, given the fact that we don't have much in terms of people inside of our city right now. Plus, it's also quite the distance outside of our city. Like, it's right on the edge of the map, which isn't a bad thing, but it does mean that our response time for handling sort of garbage pollution over here is going to be a bit longer, which I don't think is going to be as big of a problem. We do need people to go ahead and get some help and death care. Okay, so let's go and get then a small clinic. I think we'll put a small clinic like right over here. This will be a kind of like a clinic that just services this area. Maybe put it over here instead. Um, yeah. Do you have expansion slots? No, you do not. Okay. So have the small clinic right there across the street from some of the commercials. Which I think is fine. Um, you have how many ambulances? Three. Okay. That's fine. Now, death care. Death care is, of course, our first cemetery. We need a cemetery, but where do we want it? I'm kind of thinking over in this area because it's relatively flat. It doesn't have much in terms of resources around it. Just take a look at our re natural resources. We got some oil over here. I didn't even notice that. Okay, thank you for pointing that out, game. Um, okay, so over here would be ideal. So what about if we place the death care facility kind of like as like the focal point for this road? Let's do that real quick and see how that turns out. you there and then what I want to do is I want to bring you there now is that far, far enough down it's not going to be central which kind of sucks but I think that it gets the point across it's kind of like the end of the road type hey this is what you have to expect at the end of your life kind of a morbid way of thinking about it but hey it's it's a part of the game. Okay, uh, let's get some more residential going up over here. We'll go and do that real quick. Uh, what did we unlock? We unlock vegetable farms and a coal mining facility. We don't have the ability to do anything with the coal mining facilities because coal and stone use the same resource, same for ore. Um, we could end up getting some forestry, like right around here having a logger a logging camp so to speak is what you could call it so there is that let's see 
let's also get some like i don't think we need to get more industrial in here because we really need more workers rather than industrial like what are you guys actually needing right now you guys are needing poorly educated and educated as well as well educated actually interesting okay whereas you're needing what you're just needing regular uneducated people that's not too bad of an idea uh, too bad like it's not the worst thing it could also be much worse than many other ways but we'll we'll look past that for the time being um let's think about this then because i know we get the education at the second milestone so we'll get that next milestone whenever we unlock that which will be relatively soon actually um This cemetery is not going to get that busy, at least for the moment. It will soon. Not too sure when, but soon. But I think over here... Hmm. I think the next residential area we can put people at is over here. I think this would be a good residential area because... This is where the farm is at, which means that some people that are over here could be working over at the farm, or they have easy access to work over at the industrial areas, which is fine. Um, so let's look into that. It's going to extend this road a bit. Bring you down. And let's go and do some... I think that it might be a good idea to have some of these be row houses. Ooh. That's actually a good prospect. Ooh, and then does this... I don't think this line is up really well. Uh, we could have this be where a elementary school is at, maybe? That actually wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, that would not be a bad idea at all. So, with that said, let's go and get some medium-density residential over here. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and bring you along here. I'm going to keep a bit of a gap, but let's go ahead and do this smartly. And only do like one road at a time. Uh, what I will do is get some pathways going about here, because why not? A walkable city uh, means that less cars on the road, and it does mean that people are able to get to where they need to go a lot faster. Well, in some cases. Not every case, though. So that looks like that was enough of a medium density demand that was filled right there. I think we'll save this area for some medium density residential as well. And what we'll do is we'll extend this area down here. And we'll go ahead, ooh. I'm going to have to adjust, oh, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that, just adjust this. Okay. Uh, yeah, that could have been a bit of a panic right there, we don't want that. In fact, what I will do... Got angle snapping on what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of cut off this farm a little bit uh, cut you off at like 135 or something bring you down here. Okay, a bit of a not, a, a bit of a change, but I think that's fine. And I think that change is actually for the better because that actually will help us out a bit. 
Um, let's go and bring you guys along here. I'm fine with it. However, they decide to orient the roads here. Um, there's that. We'll need that. And you still need workers, which uh, I'm, I'm really hopeful that this will, will go ahead and fulfill the demand for workers. Hopefully these low density, low income people are going to be enough for you. Okay, uh, but demand is slowly creeping up for everything else. Also, we got some townhomes that are building up that are tinies. I don't want tinies. I want you to fulfill as much space as possible. Okay. Now, something that we could do once when we go and unlock it is we could get parking spaces. Which, that's going to be useful for these medium density areas, because that will give us a lot more income. Uh, we can charge people for parking in parking areas, or, if we really want to, we can create a district tool, once when we unlock Milestone 4, and we can put in a parking space uh, charge for roadside parking. Which, I don't think is a bad thing. It actually is something that will give us a bit of money. City always needs money like that. Um, okay, it looks like you've filled up all of your density here. Let's go ahead and fill in the empty spots, so to speak. And while we're doing that, fill in the next row. Your demand is going to considerably drop, which is fine, but that will come up in due course. Um, eventually. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you down that way. It looks like my mother's awake because I just heard her laughing hysterically at something to do that, that she's watching TV about. Ooh, Milestone 2. That's perfect. That's what we needed. Um, I'm going to extend this road a little bit. And this part right here, this is going to be an awkward shape right here because I'm not sure what we can do with it. I could go ahead and bring these down. And in fact, I could have you just connect like that. Which I don't hate. I actually don't mind that. Um... It could be worse, by all means, but I don't hate that. Yeah, I really don't hate that, actually. A part of me is kind of surprised that I don't hate, hate that. Um, go ahead and fill you along here. Back to this real quick, because I kind of want to have this be a bit of some curvature features and get some curves in the city. Uh, you know what? Let's also go ahead and get a sort of like an overpass bridge, so to speak, over here. Mm, yeah. Uh, also, go ahead and drop the speed down to one time speed and get rid of the guidelines. I don't need them. Okay. Uh, bring you down there, and let's go ahead and slope you down to there. Kind of a dead man slope right there, but let's actually go ahead and see if I can drop this down a little bit, because I do have the increment tool here that I can take advantage of. Um, let's go and bring you up to 15. Nope, you don't like that. 18.75 you do like, but I'll bring you up to 22.5 real quick. That's not as bad, but it could be better. Uh, let's go ahead and bring you down to the ground. And we'll go ahead and have you 
you end right there. Yeah, that's fine. And we'll connect you like so. Yeah, yeah, I think that's fine. That doesn't really do anything, so I'm not going to bother with that. Now, with this overpass right here, I kind of just want to bring it down. And, ooh, actually not going to be all that good because this is the slope that's going downward. Um, I could just bring it up to about like 15. Bring you like this. And then bring you down. Okay, that's not too bad. I don't hate that. So that should be fine. And in fact, what we'll do is we'll get rid of pedestrian crossing here. And I think we can get rid of it over here as well. Yeah. Oh, and also, because we got Milestone 2, we have unlocked schooling, or education more specifically. So that means we've unlocked small ele ele uh, elementary schools of three different types, high schools of three different types, and that's it. So, as for what school we want to start with, I kind of want to start with the small elementary school. How many eligible students do we have? 74 elementary students that are eligible. That's not bad, but I think we're going to start that with a small elementary school then. Because our small elementary school can fit a capacity of 400, but the regular size elementary school is a capacity of 1,000. We don't need that. Plus the urban size one has a 1,500 capacity. We don't need either of those two bigger schools. Small elementary school though is going to be much more worth it. So with that said, we'll drop that there. We could get some extension wings if we so choose to, but the gymnasium is something I want to get eventually. But that would require us to get the sports park expansion, which we can't get yet. Um, that requires parks and rec, but we need milestone four to get that. Um, let's see. I don't think we need a crematorium. I don't think we need to worry about recycling or incineration. Water treatment, I don't think we need to worry about right now. Electrical, we could get the gas power plant, but no, 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 don't do that. That's diverting from what our plan of action is so far. Um, we could go ahead and get roundabouts, which could be beneficial. That would help with reducing traffic congestion and also decreasing overall speed. But I think just so that way we can upgrade the roads nearby the garbage plant or garbage landfill, I'm going to get highways. And I think that will be useful in the long term. So let's head over to our garbage plant real quick. And I want to redevelop this intersection. Um, let's see. Delete the, some roads here for a second. And I want to put up a, let's see here. Let's do that. And we'll go ahead and do this. So that means the bridge itself is a two lane highway. So let's go and do this. two-lane highway up to here, I think. And I actually just keep it right there. And what I want to do is two things, actually. One, I want to bring the two lanes portion of the highway kind of like butt up against this part, so to speak. And then what I want is I want this one lane highway ramp or one lane highway to kind of connect um, here. I could end up ex 
expanding this to be a three lane highway. Just that way that's the case. But I would need to expand that tile. Do I want to do that? You know what? Just because it's going to annoy me, go ahead. So yeah, go ahead and expand. Uh, expand the tile to like Right there, I suppose? That's gonna be a sharp turn, but that's fine. Then you go and expand there, and then I want in another expansion is over here and over here. Okay? That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Um, let's see. I want you to go ahead and come up to here. Right? Do I want you to be coming in at a T, or do I want you to come in at a curve? Like, there should be no reason that somebody's going to come up here and do a U-turn. But, I suppose not everyone will do that. So, let's get the guidelines off for a second. Okay, 61. Bringing you up to 17. Do I have a one after that? No, it's only 61 or 70. And eh, that's not great. So either you have a gap by 8 or a gap by 10. Uh, I think the gap by 8 is fine. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Can I have you come along here? Okay. Yeah, that's a dedicated turning lane to go onto the highway going back into the city, which I think is a pretty good deal. Two lane highway, bring you along here. So, in that case, grab the road extension. That should be fine. Kind of like a makeshift, so to speak. And we'll go ahead and do this. That's 61 right there. Uh, that should be fine. Uh, let's see. Interesting, okay. I could set that up as a roundabout instead. Which isn't going to be a bad idea. But I... No. Roundabout actually does sound like a better option there. Because that does mean that it's a yield on all... On these two sides right here. Allowing for easier traffic congestion. Now here, I think, would be a good spot for a traffic light instead. Okay. So that means you got traffic light coming inbound from the roundabout. Traffic light coming inbound from outside of the city. And a traffic light coming outbound coming from the landfill going to outside of the city. Or doing a U-turn. Okay. Now what I will do is I will go and get rid of the right hand turn, uh, right turn lane there. Um. Do I want to get rid of that left turn lane right there? Ideally, yes. On both of these, actually.
and you should not be turning right, but instead just keep going as you are. So that means... Oh, you know what? Actually, never mind. You need to be able to go continue on. I don't know why. Eh, you know what? Eh, never mind. Don't actually worry about that. Oh, come on. Yeah. That means get rid of that. And you know what? Just because it's going to make things a bit simpler. <sighs> Is it still a good idea to have that traffic light be there? Maybe, but no, I'm not going to worry about it. So that means this will be a yield going from this off-ramp onto this street right here. And I think that's fine. I don't think that's a big issue because I don't expect there to be a lot of traffic coming from outside of the city coming onto this, out, onto this intersection. So I think that should be fine. Um, okay. Now back to over here, to the main part of the city. We got our elementary school, has a good amount of people attending it now, which is fine. I would want to get a the high school then, because the high school does have some eligible students, 89 to be exact. We could do a small high school as well, which actually would be a good idea, but where would we want that? Maybe over here? Or down here because something to keep in mind is that the high schools get access to a football field and the football field is actually pretty big so I don't want the football field to feel like it's overpowering the area yeah so with that let's go ahead and get the next row of row houses in here Now, was there any that didn't fully develop? Yes, there was. That looks like it was the only three. That's fine. We also got access to EU medium density housing. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and build up the houses over here. That's that's fine by me. Over here, I think I'll leave space for a park to go into, or a small park, or a park alleyway. That might be a good idea. And over here, we'll put some more re uh, like regular residential, once when we unlock the demand for it. Now, as it stands right now, if we take a look at our population, we have a 26.5% unemployment, which that sound, looks like it's contributed mostly from the children, teens, and seniors, which I don't know why those would be included in the unemployment. But that would mean that the adults, there are a lot of adults that don't have jobs right now, so it would make sense to give them some type of job. Uh, let's see, commercial, let's go ahead and build some like along here. And just for the fun of it, build some over here. Just so that way these people are a bit closer to some commercial as well. Maybe they'll go over to this commercial spot, but I feel like they'll go over here a bit better. Plus it's right next to where the industrial area is. Speaking of, we should possibly get some more industrial. Because that does count towards our overall jobs that are available. And you now, do you have full, full employment? Yes, you do. You have no open uh, positions. That's actually pretty good. Uh, you got no open... good. You got one open position. That is for a poorly educated person. Okay. You... 
Uh, let's see. Uneducated, so that's one. How many... Uh, we got all of you employed. Okay. Uh, let's see. One position available there. That's fine. Okay. It's actually a pretty decent start so far. Now, um... Let's go ahead and develop this part a little bit, because I want to bring Lafayette Street down a bit. Okay. And let's go ahead and bring these roads down. Because I think what we'll do is we'll continue with the trend of having this area be for townhouses. Uh, so this is going to be more so for future planning rather than immediate planning. Also, we are in the negative right now for, because of what? Ah, I knew that would be the case. We got a lot of tile upkeep, so I need to avoid spending a lot more money on tile up, tiles right now. So we need to avoid that by all means. In the meantime, though... Let's get some more population over here. I think that would be a good spot for some population. Uh, let's see. Avoid that the, this population going on Lafayette Road. These houses, that is. Because I think that to avoid this, that would be fine. Perfect, okay. Also kind of annoying how you all built like that really hate that part. I could build some regular houses over here. Okay. Um, now. Let's bring you down here. And uh, get rid of the guidelines. We'll bring you straight down. Okay. There's that. And again. There. We're getting close to the rail line. So it would be worth it to get a four a four-lane road going somewhere along here. Let's do that. That, yeah, that's good. Bring you down here, and we'll connect this road to the four-lane road. Okay of a lag spike there. Uh, we'll get rid of this road real quick because this will be the area for some more um, townhouses when we eventually get them. Not right now, obviously. Okay, okay. That's fine. Uh, let's bring you down here. Here and connect you up. Ooh, that's not a good connection. Well, let's, let's go and pause it right there. Uh, let's get another roundabout. This will be possibly a less traffic dense one, so let's get a roundabout going right there. Okay. Now, that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and get some pedestrian ro uh, paths going along here. OK. 
Okay. And I think this entire area will be a residential spot. So let's go and do that real quick. That is 60. Okay. Ooh, we got a pop musician house. Okay, we'll take a look at that here shortly. Okay. Uh, that's fine. We'll need to let this grow a little bit. Plus, we got some demand for medium density. So let's go and get some more townhouses built. Looks like we did have a couple people built small. I don't want some all people build up for the, your full plot. Otherwise you are going to be getting moved out. Looks like people are using the actual pathways as well, which is pretty good. Uh, our high school, our elementary school is still pretty low so far as far as how many people are attending it. We should go and consider getting a elementary or a high school now. As far as where we're going to put it, I initially did want to put it like over here, which that may still very well be an option. Yeah, that may very well will still be an option. So, if that's the case, let's consider putting it on Lafayette. Is that a good spot on Lafayette? Yes, if I get rid of the of this segment of what street is that? Of Sunnyside, then I think that should be fine. Yeah, we'll put uh, put the high school over here. Uh, let's see. I kind of want to put it right in the center because let me just see here. Yeah, the sports park. Uh, the high school sports park obviously needs large sports park to unlock it. We also get large uh, milestone three now. Good. So that means we unlocked both fire and police, which is fine. Okay. We should consider getting both of these right away, or at least small ones. Like the firehouse, I think it makes sense putting that nearby the industrial area, which is the normal for most city builders. You kind of want it to be nearby the industrial area. But yeah, so let me actually put it against the main road here then. Yeah, we'll put it right there along the main road. Uh, yeah, it's able to reach pretty much all of that. Obviously, we can't get it down to the landfill, but that's fine. Then, let's see, the police station. We can put a small police station in. And I'm kind of thinking about having it be over here next to the medical clinic. That's a good starter, uh, starting location for it. So that's fine. And then what we'll do is we'll put a bit more commercial over here. And that way we can get that commercial, any commercial man that pops up, get that fulfilled right away. In fact, we still got the commercials plot over here that hasn't been filled. Uh, let's see. Also, we got this space over here that we need to get filled as well. So let's go ahead and fill up this with the appropriate. So fill you up over here, please. Obviously, you're going with the small houses, which I don't like. But I'm not going to demolish you because of it. I should, but I'm not going to. It's fine. As much as my brain is telling me not to go ahead and let them build like that, I'm going to anyway. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll continue our townhouse spree, so to speak, over in this area. Go 
build you up there. Okay, we got a lot of low density getting built up so far. Okay, I need to uh, see it here. Got a bit of industrial demand growing, okay. Let's do that real quick. Get the industrial demand kind of sorted. Maybe that will balance it out a bit. Not by much though, unfortunately. So we do got the Pop Musician House, which I think what we'll do is we'll put that somewhere about over here. In fact, I think I'll put that over here. Yeah, that does get rid of a couple houses, but that's fine. I'm okay with that. So yeah, the Pop Musician House is going to be right in this suburban sprawl. That's essentially what this is. This is just in a suburban neighborhood. Uh, it has a small high school and a small elementary school. So that's fine. It kind of does suck how this elementary school is so far away from this area over here. Kind of does make it a bit less appealing. Let's go ahead and extend this road a little bit because I kind of want to. just do this? Yes, I can. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's see. Anything else that I can get up over here? I don't have much in terms of money, actually. Oh, boy. Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, hold up. What is that's costing me a lot of money right now? 27,000 there, 24,000 there, 28,000. Wait, why do you have the uh, garage extension already? Well, no, you don't have the extension, just that it's telling me I don't have enough money for it. 31,000, 37,000. Okay, maybe not do the high school right now. That is costing us a lot of money. Let's see. Oh boy. What is costing us a lot? Electricity. Really? It's because, oh, we're importing a lot right now. I see. Okay. So... Maybe it would be a good idea, like how much production are we actually utilizing for electricity right now? 7.28 megawatts. So we should end up getting a coal power plant to go and supplement that. But I kind of need, oh boy, I need a bit more money to go and do that. Okay, okay. Yay game, not. How much is this? Uh, to buy, 100k. Okay, I hate to say it, but I'm doing this because we are having so much money being drained just from service upkeeps. And that's mostly from... Oh, wait, no. Oh, trades is actually... What? Wait, does that mean that service upkeeps is being counted twice for imports? Hold up. That's 303,000. No, it does separate it out. It's just that it's not separate. It, okay. Okay. It's That makes it a bit confusing then. Um, shoot. Okay. What else is it that I should go and consider? 
because the moment that I buy that power plant is the moment that I'm going to start costing a lot more money. Maybe, well, no, right now I'm costing us about 66000 for electricity. As for how much it would cost, only up to 45 k per month. But that's for the general upkeep. That's not including any sort of, like, wages that would have to be paid. Ugh. Okay. So that means it may be beneficial not only to go ahead and get that, but also increase our wages. Or increase our service fees. Yeah, electricity consumption is minus 5%. Company efficiency is minus 0%. So what if I... Okay, so they're okay if I keep it at 14% increased. Okay, which I don't think that's a bad idea. We'll keep it like that for now. What about our water services? 8%, okay. Not bad. Healthcare. Why are we spending so much money on healthcare right now? Like... We only have, we well, know we have the small clinic and the death care, for, oh, and the cemetery. Cemetery is costing us 59000 Okay, well, that makes a lot of sense. I kind of feel like that's a little bit much for a cemetery. We really wish that they would include like a smaller, like cemetery that you can build. That way it's one, not as big, and one does not require as much for wages. Because literally, like, Right now, we only have 19 people that have ever been deceased in this city. And having a building costing that much money this early on, ugh, it's not great. Oh boy, okay. Also, go ahead and get some more industrial over here, why not? In fact, you know what? I'm going to take out a loan in the game. Let's see. I want to take out a $150,000 loan. That's going to be a monthly cost of $12,000. That's fine. Because what we're going to do is we're going to get this electrical or this uh, small power plant built over here. What I'm going to do as well is also connect this to the outside grid and get rid of this transformer. Because I want to go ahead and get rid of this segment so that way we're exporting our excess electricity and that way we can go ahead and be a bit more, hopefully at least, bit more productive. Expand this a little bit. Um, and just because expand you down to here. Expand this road out to here. Ooh, actually you're not that uh, no 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 I know why you're going that far. I don't want you going that far. Makes a lot of sense as to why you were doing that. Oh, why are you doing that now? Like, you're not... Okay. I don't know why the game decided that was an okay idea, but... By all means, game. Uh, let's see. So, you already start off with a little bit of coal just to get you rolling. Um, let's see, 111000 per month. That seems relatively expensive, but when you factor in that we're going to be exporting a bit instead of importing, it's going to drastically change. So, we just got to let it run for a month, let it go ahead and do its thing to go ahead and get us some power being produced. It's 
going to take us a hot second for it to fix its, uh, its services. So we're no longer importing. We are exporting, which is fantastic. Um, let's see, though. I, could, I can't increase it still. Damn. Okay. Let's get some more industrial built up then, because I guess we kind of need it. I'll go ahead and zone this all out, so that way we actually can get some industrial going. Okay. Population is on the rise. Income, though, is on the negative. Not ideal. Yeah, if we didn't have that loan right now, I think we might actually be... Well, no, the loan is only 12000 per month. And right now we're at a negative 237000 per month. So, what other services is it that we can reduce? Healthcare is really the only other one. So I'm going to have to decrease you by 25, uh, by 22%. That would be a 25% service to... De efficiency decrease not a bad one but it's fine for the moment in that case garbage I'm gonna reduce you considerably because I don't need you guys to be out in masses education is fine we need people to get educated fire and rescue we can lower that a little bit I want to get 25% a 20% decrease because we don't need them to be as active Okay. Uh, let's see. Electricity. Now, how much electricity are we actually producing here? Producing 21 megawatts at 100% usage. Because that means our excess electricity is getting exported out. Which is fine. We're exporting about 10 megawatts per month. Okay. So with that decrease, that means that we should be in somewhat of a better light. Now let's go into taxation here because we can increase this a little bit for all different service types and get us a bit more money. So balancing the books a little bit allows us to get a bit better services a bit better in terms of our income. Not a lot better though. We're still a negative 120 some odd thousand in the hole per month. I should have been keeping closer attention to this. Now we are, we're at a deficit for coal production because we do not have anything for coal production. Okay. Now, let's see here. Oh. I did not realize that. Some coal over here that we can get, get produced. That's not a bad idea, actually. Huh. Okay. But we will need to unlock the tiles over here. That's just these two tiles. But that's 119,000. <laughs> Why must you do this game? Why? Why? Okay. Um, not fun. Not fun at all. I need to let the game run. Run it at one time speed. Let, let's get some population coming in here. See, that population will be a bit more helpful. I'm not sure, sure how helpful it will be, but hopefully it will be somewhat. Okay. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and get rid of that, that, and that. There's some houses that we don't need. Let's get rid of your small houses. We don't want small houses, game. Okay. 
you're good there. And you know what? I'll put some regular housing over here. Put you along there. Some regular housing over here. Get that sorted. Now I'm leaving a space in between just so that way I can end up zoning that in a particular way later on. But those will eventually get filled up. Dying more than usual. Okay. Let's see. We're still at 128 per hour, which is not bad. Our industrial area is filling up rather nicely. So let's go ahead and get some more industrial built over here. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to also build a path right around here. Hmm. Oh, you're snapping to existing buildings. I don't want you to do that. Okay. There we go. That's fine. Let's see. You're at 20.8 right now, which is fine. Also, we're getting a lot of cost right now for the power plant because they're importing coal, which isn't great. And that's the deficit that we're at right now. So as soon as we get a coal mining facility over here, which that could be within the next couple of minutes, or it could be within a couple of in-game days. Who knows? Either way, is what our plan is to try and get that sorted as quickly as possible. Let's see. We could try to do a bit of decrease in our budget for electricity, but that would also decrease our export production export revenue as well Ugh. only decrease uh, let's just decrease the service by 10 percent see how that affects the game budget healthcare is still our highest cost at the moment which is kind of surprising I thought that it was actually a lot lower by now. We're already at a 25% decrease for service efficiency, just a 22% budget decrease. So, I, and I really wish that the game, uh, the developers had separated this, not put lump them into the same thing. Because if you have a small clinic that is only costing you like maybe 22k a month. Whereas you have a cemetery that's costing you about 60000 a month, more than double, but yet your clinic gets more usage than your cemetery, it, it kind of imbalances that a little bit because your clinic is suffering any sort of service decrease and service budget as well, which really does suck. Um, I really wish that they considered that. Who knows, though. Our budget for everything else looks fine. Our water budget, we can actually drop that down considerably because we don't need it that high. Drop it to 30%. See how that has affected us, please. Okay, that's not too bad. Now, because of our landfill site over here we are having to import a little bit of water and export it accordingly but not by much so yeah eventually when we go and grow the city to the point where we can connect these two we'll, we should be able to get rid of that and be able to export out water instead hopefully okay we also got more residential demand now, so let's give the game what it wants. Okay. 
Uh, let's get rid of that row, that one, and that one. Looks fine. Okay. Let the game develop. Uh, let it make a decision about what it wants to do. We're still 2,000 in the hole right now. Not great, but not bad either. It could be worse. It could very well be worse. And we got Vertigo Square, which is a unique building that we can place with our row houses. So, I think what we'll do is I'll put this here, right? Yeah, we'll put that there. That does get us Milestone 4, which does give us a lump of money right there, which thank you, game. I really could, you could have used that a lot sooner, actually. Okay, that's fine. And I think I'll put a park right here since we just unlocked that. Thank goodness. Let's see, can I put, uh, yeah, I'll put a park plaza small park maybe plaza, park plaza no 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 uh, i can't fire sight i don't want any unique buildings um this is what a dog park yeah we'll do a dog park okay and then what we'll do is we'll put i'll make the exception to have some um, row houses be right here instead. Since we do have this right here. I suppose. Now we got some development points that we can spend, people. What are we going to spend them on? I kind of want to spend them on stuff that will get us to decrease the value or decrease our service upkeeps. Uh, crematoriums, actually. That will definitely decrease our service upkeeps because it should allow us to get rid of this cemetery. And instead, yeah, crematorium is only 16,000 per month, whereas the cemetery is 20,000 per month. Now, that's just for the maintenance. Now, if you take this into consideration here, wages is 32,000. If that's the case, then crematorium should be only about the same as the maintenance cost then that's not a bad call that's really not so if i were to instead of having this cemetery be here in fact i could actually disable the cemetery and that would go ahead and deactivate it only costing us two thousand per month Maybe later on I'll bring it back, but not right now. I don't think it's a good idea to have it right now. So in that case then, let's go ahead and bring out the crematorium instead. Oh wait, no we can't. 240,000. That's a bit of a cost right there. Now if we were to go ahead and pay back some of our loan, say pay back, oh I don't know, 70,000 worth? We'd only have... We are now in a profit. Which is kind of surprising. Actually, we've kind of stale, uh, stagnate. To a degree. <laughs> 69 per hour. I like that. Okay, um, what about if I were to repay a little bit more of the loan back? That means... Okay. We're at a somewhat better spot than where we were a few minutes ago. Yeah, a couple hundred per hour now. That's fine. That's actually really good. So that means that the amount of budgeting that we had to do there was worth it. For now, at least. Don't, don't jinx me about that, please. Please don't jinx me. <laughs> I'm going to increase our 
our ta taxes a little bit more. We also got access to offices, so we could end up zoning some offices now, since we do have that access to us. Um, offices. Something to keep in mind with offices is that they focus primarily on well-educated citizens. So the education system focuses on first off going through elementary school, becoming educated from uneducated, or no, from uneducated to poorly educated is going from uh, going after small elementary school graduation, which our small elementary school is now at capacity. And then after elementary school, they go through high school. High school brings them from poorly educated to, I think, just educated, right? Yeah, so from poorly educated to educated is what our high school does. Then our colleges bring people from educated to well-educated. And then our universities bring people from uh, well-educated to highly educated. That's really good right there. We also got this, these buildings that are finishing up over here, which is kind of surprising. I thought they would have finished by now. Let's see. We got oil drilling available. Okay. How much income are we getting? About 2000 per hour. Not bad. Not bad. Um, let's go and continue off with our residential demand. So let's go and build up you. And get rid of our small houses that have been built up over here. Thank you. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Thank you. And get rid of you. And we'll get rid uh, put some residential along that street, which not the best, but it could be worse. Um, it very well could be worse, actually. I'm actually getting a tone in my ear saying that my headset is dying. I gotta get a new headset. New headset and a new microphone. Because uh, when I was watching back the VOD recording from Saturday's stream, I noticed that the actual audio was a bit radio staticky, and I didn't like that too much. Granted, I don't mind that if, if I was doing like a uh, Alistair impression or something like that, but I'm not. So that's the real sucky part right there. Okay, now we got the ability for low rent housing. I don't think we're going to worry about that too much. Also, for education, yeah, we definitely need either more elementary schools or we need to build an extension, which we have the money for an extension. We just need to go and place it. Um, now, let's see here. I don't want you to snap to the building. I want you to kind of snap to the roadside here because I'm going to put you along this road. That gets us an additional 100 capacity. Which I gotta say. I kinda like this. Also, I'm gonna take a screenshot here. Having this sort of a view... In a mountainside village area? I'd say that's pretty good. Oh, and that was actually my first photo using the uh, photo mode. Huh, okay. Okay. Go ahead and turn on our... The, uh, turn that back on so that we can handle the dead citizens that need to be collected. Please. I know that will drop our income down considerably. It's not great. Okay. Five thousand. You have a storage capacity of twenty with ten hearse. 
How many hearses do you get? Fifteen? I don't know, chat. What, uh, do we should go ahead and... Um, I don't think we're... Should we go ahead and have... Let's see here. So, what... Why are you... Interesting. I thought... Why is my bot not here? I'm just now looking at the viewer list and I just realized that my mod bot, Leo bot, is actually not in the chat. Hmm. I'll have to find that out later and find out why it's not working properly. Um, okay. That's good to know. For better or for worse. Let's go and get some more housing sorted out here. I think I will still keep this area open for um, for a high school when we're ready for that. So that's fine. Looks like this is going to be filling up relatively easily. You're not using up full space. Use the full space, please. Okay. Let's go ahead and fill this area up with some uh, townhouses as well. Let's see. Y'all are filling up quite nicely. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. The fire and rescue service reports that fires are currently spreading in the nearby forest. The billowing clouds of smoke pose a serious oh, okay. health risk. I guess we got some nearby. fires that are spurling out of control. In the affected area are instructed to immediately move to a safe distance until the situation is under control. Okay. Built some residentials along that strip of road on Lilac Street. Lafayette Street alone. Okay, so that's a lot to go ahead and get digested right there. Um, if we want, we could bring in some some type of transportation into this mix. But I'd rather not, to be honest. Yeah, I'd rather not. We could end up getting a taxi depot or a bus depot, but both of them cost a hundred thousand or more. I'd rather not double that. I'd rather not uh, double down on that. Okay. Okay. Did you take care of all the dead people? Looks like you did. So turn you off now. I don't need you on now. At least not for the moment. Maybe when people are dying a bit more, then I'll go ahead and turn it off or turn it back on. Uh, looks like. Are good there. Okay. Looks like you got quite a bit of people come into your clinic. How many is, uh, people do you have arrested? Not a lot. Okay. Are you responding to a fire yet? You got one vehicle out responding to a fire. Nothing else for the time being. I suppose that's okay. That's not too bad. Education. How is education going? Uh, we are at capacity of 500. Okay, I'm going to need to build another extension wing. Eventually, it will be worth it to possibly replace this with a different height, a different elementary school. Um... But 51,000 for this elementary school as it is right now is fine. The other elementary school is 12,000 for just the regular upkeep. Upkeep is 7,000. Yeah, 7,000 for that. Wages is 44,000. I would imagine with the regular elementary school, the wages are about the same, maybe a bit more. Who knows? 
Uh, let's see. I need to go ahead and place some more residential, but this time residential for high density. Okay. Um, it may actually be worth it putting the high density over here. How do I want to do that? Should I just put it next to the cemetery then? Kind of really seems like it's the only option. And then while we're waiting for that to fill up, I guess I could go and place down some zone, uh, some office zones. Um, I don't know how well they're going to blend in well, or blend in with the area around them, given the fact that... Oh, and looks like people are needing hearses again. Okay. Send out hearses, please. Yep. Thank you. Looks like some people are having trouble finding health care. Uh, not ideal. That means that our clinic either doesn't have enough ambulances, which it does have one to spare right now, or yeah, it's out of capacity. Lovely. Okay. So either I go and get another clinic. Or go and upgrade to a large, uh, to a regular size clinic rather than a small clinic. How much is the regular size clinic compared to? 60,000. So it's not bad, but it's not good either for us right now. Also, the medium density or the high density low income house uh, building that we have right here it has a lot of households available for it right now so that's pretty good but that does mean that we still have the demand for high density lovely okay let me build some roads for this done Let's go ahead and build our road, our high density over here. Another high density building. It's going to be slightly bigger than this one, but that's fine, I suppose. And you are at capacity for the number of households. Okay. Not bad, but not worse either. Also, let's see here. Yeah, it looks like lack of entertainment options is the... Ooh, okay, so that means we don't have enough parks. Which makes sense, we only have the one park. Uh, let's see here. I can put down a small playground over here. That doesn't do us much, but it may be something. Uh, let's see, we'll put down a, another small park over here. I think that's all we can do for the moment. What's costing us a lot right now? Let's see here. Is it still healthcare? Yeah, it's still healthcare. Darn, okay. 21 or 25, that's fine. We do get Milestone 5 now. That did give us a, sum, a sum of money. So, there's that. While we're waiting for that, I'm going to pay off our entire loan that we have. That will get rid of that. It does balance the books slightly. Not by much, though. Not by much. I guess now would actually be a good time, if I could. Let me let me take a look at our expansion permits that we can have. One hundred and nineteen thousand. I 
could just get that one then. Or that one. Uh, okay. That's not ideal. Is there one over here? There is an ore over here. And all the way over here. Not ideal locations, though. This is really the only ideal location there is in the nearby area, which is not great. This is an emergency broadcast to all citizens. The Fire and Rescue Service reports that fires are currently spreading in the nearby forest. The oh, billowing clouds here. of smoke pose a serious yeah. health risk to anyone nearby. It's not an issue. At this time, all citizens in the affected area are instructed to okay. immediately move to um, safe distance until the situation is under control. We should go ahead and fulfill that high density demand a little bit because it's still growing. Uh, looks like our office demand is growing still as well, so grow you right there, and I think that's fine. We'll keep those as is. This is going to be kind of like our office and then high density area, so to speak. They're pretty much the same building, it's just that you have a slightly larger footprint. Do you have all your uh, households filled? Not really, but close enough. Um, that's fine. What do you got going on over here? High traffic? Oh well, yeah, that, that would make sense. That's a lot of high traffic over there. Let's see, do I have... Uh, let's see... Five lane road? Yeah. That should be beneficial right there. Allow for better traffic congestion. Hmm. Maybe I can go ahead and get a small bridge over here. Geometry, please. And get rid of so zoning links. Oh, okay. And uh, stop snapping the grid. Oh, don't do that, please. Geometry. Hmm, okay, I got rid of a bit of zoning right there. Uh, let me go ahead and get rid of that right there. And also go ahead and get rid of that grid for a moment. Right there. That way, I can get rid of all of the crosswalks right there. Which I think is fine. Okay. I'm glad that I actually put that right there because that makes things so much better. Let's go ahead and build another office right there, since we've got the space for it. And we can put in some more industrial over here. Okay. What's costing us a lot of money right now?
it's still healthcare and death care. Okay, I hate to say it, but I'm going to take out a loan again. Because at this point, I think that's the only option for us to go ahead and try and get a somewhat better income. Is to get a crematorium instead. And a crematorium, I think, will be a bit more cost efficient. So let's keep uh, keep an eye on this. So 52,000 is the total for a cemeterium or cemetery. Okay, if we get rid of the cemetery and we instead replace it with a crematorium, which it says its regular upkeep is 16,000, which is 4,000 less, roughly, than a uh, than a cemetery. So, if our total, oh, let me uh, move that actually. Uh, actually, I can't because I don't have enough money. Okay. Our total for wages, because you have 20 people that you're going to hire instead, is going to be about the same. Okay, that does not help us whatsoever. It's about the same as a regular cemetery. Yay! Not really. Okay, right now we're at a decrease, right? Uh, so it's not ideal. Um... Since police isn't really doing much, I'm going to decrease that. Same for fire. Program to bring you a special news bulletin. Increasing areas of forest are being. I'm not worried about the forest fire game. Smoke. Okay. Uh, let's see. Come on, stop with the damn freaking fire announcement. I don't need to know about fire that's going on in a part of the city, part of the area that I don't have any control over. Okay. Let's see. Services. There we go. Um, fifty percent decrease. Not ideal, but it's gonna have to do. decrease parks and rec a little bit but I kind of don't want to affect parks and rec for the moment for the moment they are the lowest cost for our services right now they're even lower cost than the roads it says a lot okay and in that case let's see here we also got the ability to create districts we want to do that. Not really, because I don't have enough service capacity to have the area for multiple districts. So we'll leave that be for the time being. As for education, yeah, 800 is our total capacity or our total eligibility, but we got 600 capacity right now. We got 600 cap uh, eligible students for high school. Which, if that's the case, then instead of just building a small one, it would be more cost-effective to build a regular-sized high school. It's double the cost, literally both to build it and to go and upkeep it. One thing that I wish that the developers would put on here is, instead of it just saying the upkeep, include the value for the wages as well. So that way you kind of can gauge, okay, with the wages included, is this actually going to be a building that I can profitably maintain? Hey, that's that, it's a good suggestion right there. Obviously, that does mean that they have to redevelop parts of the UI a little bit to include that, I think. But I feel like that would be a very worthwhile and useful suggestion.
build another office right over here. And we don't got much in terms of offices at the moment, which is fine. Not complaining, but it's fine. Uh, let's see, we got a little bit of demand for industrial right now, which is okay. We can fulfill that a little bit. Um, let's go and place something like right there. And we're kind of at a, stale, a, a, sta a stalemate right now. Yay. We could build a post office, but that is an upkeep of cost right there that I don't really want to focus on. Not something that's going to be uh, something we can charge services for. Transportation is one thing that we could. Damn, though. Service fees and trade. Okay. We're not trading that much? Apparently not. In fact, hold up, I need to increase. Yeah, offices and industrial will be at 14%, whereas commercial will be at 13 and residential will be at 13 as well. Um, not a crazy difference, but it, it'll make a difference in the long term. Oh, damn. Let's see. Happiness is not the greatest. Those are the high taxes. Unreliable health care coverage. Really? What the? Oh. Still has the post uh, that we're at. Okay. Okay. I think I can understand that. Uh, might be worth it just to go and increase the the budget for healthcare, which I don't want to do because it's also the one that costs the most right now. Do it anyway. Increase it so that way it's only a 30% decrease rather than a 50%. Okay. That it did drop its value a little bit. Not by much. Unreliable mail service. Really? unreliable internet service. Well, that's because we haven't invested in anything in the communications. So, I don't know what to tell you there. Walking distance to elementary schools. Okay. And then high taxes is minus three right now. Potentially, if we get more people, then by all means, I have no problem with getting more, uh, more taxes sorted out. That way I can lower the taxes as well. But obviously that's not something I can do given the fact that we are still in the negative for our budget. Let's see here. 1,000 per hour. That's not good. Not good at all. Okay. Um, let's see. What can we do? What can we do to go ahead and increase our income without having to build anything? Ooh, okay. That's something we could focus on a little bit. Upgrade this to be a three-lane road instead, or a asymmetric three-lane.
Yep, I know it's a traffic congestion right now, game, but you gotta keep in mind, these people are pretty much trying to get out of the neighborhood right now. It looks like that traffic is coming back up all the way to here. Not ideal. I'm not too sure why they're trying to come out onto this road. But it would make sense, given the fact that this is a sort of like an avenue stretch that they can go on. Okay. We're not over here. Looks like that's not experiencing the same things, so I think we're good. Looks like traffic congestion in this area is relatively unscathed. I'm not seeing any high traffic patterns, so I think we're good. I think we are good. We have a lot of unused commer unused residential, more specifically. So, meh. Also, I think what I'll do, if I can, ooh, that's a lot of patience, actually. Ugh. If I can, I think I'm going to move the healthcare facilities to be over here instead. Would that be a better choice? Potentially. Potentially, it could be a better choice. I'm not too sure how good of a choice, but it could be. But real quick, while we're contemplating, I am going to get some music from Pretzel. Actually, just do this. Uh, let's see. Helpful if this actually loaded right away, rather than me having to wait for it. There we go. Uh, let's see. Did they have an actual City Skylines 2 playlist? Okay, I got some music playing in the background that's actually not from the game actually some music from Streamlabs uh, that they actually have available, which is fine. Okay, how much would it be to move my medical center, or medical clinic, over to here? Only 7,500. Really? Interesting, okay. I thought that it would have been more. Let's actually do that then, because I'm going to actually add in some commercial over here. Uh, five, five, five. Okay, and then... Let me go ahead and build a... some commercial to get built up over here. I'd say that's okay. Wonder if I... Can I do the same thing with our police station? Can I move that over here? I can't. It's 25,000. Damn. Okay. Okay. Not an ideal situation, but it could be worse. Let's see. Let's 
Let's go ahead and bring offices up to 15%. They won't like it, but it's at least a little bit of extra money that way we can possibly get back into the positive. Let's see. You got three of... Oh my goodness gracious, you are over capacity on patients. Oh my goodness, stop taking in so many patients. Like how many people... Like we got one more person that's out uh, and that needs a... Um, a... What would it be called? I'm going to lower the music on your guys' side a little bit. Oh, uh, we got one more per... Oh, actually, they, they grabbed them while I was talking. Okay. Um, No one else really needs medical services right now. Which is fine. I don't think they're, that's a problem. That's 52,000 right now. Okay. See, the elementary school is up on capacity. That's okay. Perfectly fine. I'm not going to move it, but say if I were, it costs 14000 to move. If I was to move it, I would want to move it right there. That way the extension wings are kind of like on a side road rather than on like a main road. Hmm. What are we spending so much money on? Nothing. What do you mean nothing, game? Uh, okay. Drop the electricity production uh, budget a little bit. It does drop our export costs, our export amounts. Still costing thirty thousand. Oh wait, that's education, not not garbage. <laughs> okay, um, you're still costing twenty five thousand. Like, is anyone complaining about garbage right now? I'm not seeing any complaints about garbage. And is garbage our land facility at? No, it hasn't even used, like, half of its vehicles. Okay. Drop it down to 70% decrease. But it, that means it's left with a 52% budget. Um, I don't think that should have a negative impact, at least for the short term. Maybe for the long term, but not any time within the next, say, 30 minutes. Which I think is fine. Um, six hundred per hour. How? You know what? I hate to say it. Okay, peeps. Give me that money. Obviously, we need the money, so... Don't try and argue with it. almost at double your, the amount of patients. Why? You should not have double the amount of patients. 
you only have a capacity for 25 patients. Is that just a sign that you're not doing your job that fast? Then again, you are at a decreased efficiency right now. I can't, I can't do anything about it because we have no demand. I feel like a post office or a radio mast would actually help us. Yeah, 25,000 there. Okay, I hate to say this, but I need to increase my loan. That's monthly cost of 10,000. You're, on, you're gonna uh, only allow me to increase it by 50,000 each. I guess that's fine, and I'm gonna have to be used to go go with it. But let's do this. Get me my radio mast. Because obviously our citizens want it. I'm not going to worry about post. Except for these mailboxes, which only... Well, they don't cost us any upkeep. Um, I doubt that's going to do us anything, because it's going to rely on services being imported from the outside, but we don't have a post office to even handle those. Let's see, though. Um, I know I can't get gold. You know what? I'm going to take the chance. going to increase my overall cost, but I'm going to get, no, not three, just those two. Okay. Because I am going to go ahead and get a coal mining facility over here. I think that Oh, we might actually want to get two. Yeah, okay. I'm fine with that. Because I want to be able to gather as much of this as possible. I'll adjust these orders later. I'm not too miffed about it right now. I do need to go ahead. Uh, let's see here. Grab you. Grab a small road there. And a small road here. Let's see. OK. 
Okay, grab the three lane, or not three lane, two lane. Grab our guidelines. Ooh. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. That's fine. down. Ninety-six. Seventy-nine. That's fine. Bit of a wide curve, but I suppose that's good. get the electrical cables that we need. Okay. Bring you down here. Uh, yeah, bring you along that. the river here. Okay, similar story for water lines. Here, real quick. Okay. Water should be good. Electricity should be good then. And now we got some coal mines. That should hopefully help us with some more export costs and with our small coal power plant inside of our city. Now I can already tell for a fact that that is going to impact our current trend. Let's see. Yep, we have a surplus of about 40,000 that we are gonna be exporting per month. That's really good. Since we're only needing twenty, about 61,000 per month, or we're only needing, what, 20, uh, 20K, 20 tons per month? That's actually really good. That is really good. So what we could end up doing then, go back into our finance and go into our service tab, go into electricity, and bring up our budget back to 100% for, for that. That will not only keep our electricity like consumption of the coal that we need for that at the same but that will also increase our exports for electricity okay now we just gotta wait for the game to go and catch up and start exporting 
any ex uh, the actual coal, and then we'll be able to get a move on. And it looks like they are doing a relatively good job. Also, I find that to be drastically re unrealistic. I should try to do some training around here, but I couldn't be bothered. Let me go ahead and actually modify this a little bit. In fact, Okay. I need to actually snap you to that instead. Yes, I can. Or the angle snapping. Okay. Now, if I'm not mistaken, our budget should go ahead and balance out a bit better. better than what we're actually making for our budget right now. Um, let's see. Let's say, like, we could just do this instead. I'll wrap it around. Okay. Looks like we are somewhat of a good spot. So with that right there, looks like you guys are fully employed. You guys are fully employed, so that's fantastic. We are in the negative now. Yay. Not. Okay. That's not fun, game. Education is not that expensive right now. I think we'll be in a... Wait, why are you 25,000 per... Oh, because of the, la of the mast. The... just realized that. 
the actual radio mast that we placed right here. How much is that? That is costing 24000 per month. Yep, yep, that'll do it. Surprise that it, it's not telling us that we have, um, that we've done a lot. We do need some grain and some, some vegetables. We are producing a lot of material goods. Apparently we're producing a lot of, what is that, dinnerware? We are mostly at this range because we have so much of a deficit. We're at 21,000 in the deficit right now. Let's see. Is there anything we can do to go ahead and put us back in some type of graces? Got some more fertile land over here. Do we have any over here? They do. Thankfully, these are free to place, so I don't need to worry about costing anything for myself. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place down a bit of this, just to go ahead and satisfy the demand a bit. And then place down a grain farm because we do need a grain farm going. Apparently. Uh, turn snapping back on. Both of you should end up producing a lot. Keyword on should. Kind of just searched me the wrong way right there. Now does that help us with our deficits? I think so. Actually, no, not with for the grain farm. Our grain farm is actually still at a deficit. Still at a negative. I don't like that.
trying to figure this out the best we can. Doesn't help by much. 30%, 30%. I hate to say it, but 30% as well. Mm. Service efficiency by 70%. I haven't seen any issues with that yet. I mean, that's fine. Maybe drop you down to 40. It's 39, but it, it'll be fine. Like, is it worth it for us to continue? producing so much from this. Go drop it down to 20% decrease and see where that takes us. Maintenance or roads, drop that by 10%. Oh damn, okay. Wasn't expecting us to be using stone already. One ton worth of, stu of grain is still needed. Interesting. Interesting. Also, I just realized we are actually wrapping up on time because it is after 12 o'clock. My cap for streams is at 12 on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So with that said, peeps, we are going to call the stream there and we will be back for the next stream on Thursday. I'm going to pick us back up where we left off in this city because while I don't like the fact that we are in the negative right now, I do want to bring us back up into the positive at some point. Obviously, there is some weeks, uh, some in-game work that needs to be done in order to get us to that point. But I will say... There is certainly going to be a lot of work that needs to get done. In fact, I'm kind of more concerned as to why we haven't had any demand spikes in the past like half hour to an hour worth of stream, which is a bit concerning, I will admit. It is really concerning, actually. Um, so, we will do that. That sounds like it was the music just switched over to a different radio guest, actually. Oh, I know what that was. That is the sound of pretzel rocks, because we are going to end off stream there, peeps. That was pretzel rocks, right? No, it was not. Okay.
Weird. Don't know where that music was coming from. Either way, we are going to end it off there. Um, obviously, I'm not too sure where our city for city scouting is going to head to, given the fact that we are in a negative of like 7,000 per hour. But in nonetheless, we will pick things back up on Thursday. I'll try and get this out also on the YouTube channel by, I can't promise it, but by 9 p.m. tonight. I know that the VOD from Saturday got posted on the YouTube channel just yesterday. So there's that. Um, and that's what we're, uh, that's unfortunately because of some issues with the initial uh, export to YouTube that was causing some errors. So, unfortunately, uh, it may end up turning out the same way, but we will soon find out. In any case, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will uh, see you guys in the next stream.